Hello students! In this video we'll discuss what complex numbers are and how to perform operations on complex numbers. A complex number has the form z equals a plus ib where a and b are real numbers And i is a new number called the imaginary unit. This imaginary unit has the following property. When I square it, I get negative 1. This complex structure gives us a new set of operations and a new collection of numbers. Now, let's see what happens when I multiply this complex unit i by itself over and over again. So let's consider the powers of i. The powers of i will be i, i squared, i cubed, i to the fourth, i to the fifth, i to the sixth, i to the seventh, i to the eighth, i to the ninth, and so on forever. We can now use the fact that i squared is negative 1 to simplify this list. i will remain as i, but now i squared, the second element in my list, will turn into a negative 1. i cubed is i squared times i, so it will be i times negative 1, or negative i. i to the fourth power will be i squared times i squared, or negative 1 times negative 1, which will be a 1. Once we get to 1 in the list, we'll see that the list will start to repeat itself. So i to the 5th power is i to the 4th power times i, so that will be i. i to the 6th power will be i squared times i to the 4th, negative 1, negative i, 1, then back to i. So the sequence of powers of i has period 4, meaning that every 4 terms I start to repeat. Now, we can figure out how we can add, subtract, multiply, divide complex numbers. So how do we add complex numbers? Addition. We do addition by adding like terms. So let's see an example of this. For example, we could add 3 plus 4i to 2 plus 5i. And now I will simply add like terms. 2 and 3 are like terms, so I will add those together and get 5. And 4i and 5i are like terms, and I will add them together and get 9i. So addition of complex numbers is as you would expect it to be. You add the terms with the i, and you add the terms without the i, and you combine the result. Multiplication is similar. To multiply, we will FOIL as an ordinary multiplication and use the fact that i squared is negative 1. Let's do an example. If I'd like to do 1 plus 2i times 3 minus 4i, I will FOIL. I'll do the first terms and get 3. I'll do the outer terms and get a negative 4i. I'll do the inner terms and get a 6i. And I'll do the last terms and get a negative 8i squared. Now we simplify the i squared term. This negative 8i squared term will turn into a positive 8 since i squared is negative 1. So now I will have a positive 8 and a positive 3, which will give me an 11. I'll have a positive 6i and a negative 4i, which will give me a 2i. And that is how we multiply complex numbers. The last operation is slightly different, and that's the operation of division. 
And to divide complex numbers, we multiply the denominator by the complex conjugate. The complex conjugate of a number is as defined as follows. If z is a plus i b, its conjugate is z bar, which is a minus i b. So let's see an example of dividing complex numbers. Let's find 2 over 3 plus i. To find 2 over 3 plus i, we will multiply the denominator by the complex conjugate and multiply the numerator by the complex conjugate. So the complex conjugate of 3 plus i is 3 minus i. We take the coefficient of i and make it negative, 3 minus i. Now we'll multiply. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times negative i is negative 2i, and then the denominator becomes 3 times 3, foiling, which is 9. Then I have the outer terms are negative 3i, the inner terms are positive 3i, and the last terms are negative i squared. And when we simplify this, it becomes 6 minus 2i, now, the 3i and the negative 3i will cancel. Negative i squared is positive 1. So I'll have 9 plus 1, which gives me a 10. And that is how we divide complex numbers. Thank you very much.